All right. So speaking of best of best of the year, now you have to talk about Parasite Boy. Um, okay. As we said at the yeah, very beginning. Yeah, did you take that? Eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I swear this was going to be based on the anime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, um, which still, still the life of me. I haven't got around to watching it though. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a real, real, real. In my opinion, really, really great. They made a, they did, they made a live action movie out of it. From what I, I believe understand. so. Yes, yes, they did. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was like, oh well, he gained he chance to do it because it's like he, he have a track record of doing decent sci-fi now. Um, right. Oh, so oh, I, so you're I, thinking it's kind of like how um like old boy like you know a, right. a, a manga you know a South Korean adapting a manga right. basically. Right. 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 And then it's like nope, we don't get that. We get this weird class consciousness kind of thing going on here. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like, well, we would dice when they decide to go with this. All right, excellent. Yeah. Um, so uh, one yeah. thing I just want to say though, before well, before we before you you fill us in on what the show is, is about, right? So it is directed by Bong Joon Ho. Um, not oh, I would I would say like um I haven't seen all of his movies though, which is a shame because right. I think that he is your yeah, hands on the best um best directors in South Korean in the South yes. Korean film industry today. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I have seen Memories of Murder. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. I saw the host. I think that was the, yeah, that was my first introduction to him, right? Um, right. Really enjoyed the host, though. It's not a show that I've gone back to, but I still appreciate it. Um, I didn't see Mother, even though I heard great things about that. Um, I saw right. Snowpiercer, uh, right. which I believe was his first English language film. Really enjoyed that. I really need to watch it again, though. I only saw it once, and I did not get around to hearing, um to seeing um, Okja. I heard some right. things about it didn't really quite work, but I hear some people kind of like it for what it is now. I, 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 dug, I, dug, I dug out Jaffa what it was. What it was trying to do. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was successful with it. I don't know, but I really should check it out though. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so with Parasite here, I mean, I've been hearing tons of praise about this show. Um, it won the, the Palm Door, um, first Korean yep. film to receive the award, actually. Um, what else? The, you know, I mean, it was showing up on best of the year list for this year already, um, and best of the decade actually. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> and this was a movie that like came out, you know, I mean, some months ago. So you know, process that for me. But um, what is Parasite about? What is Parasite about? Right. Right. So Kim, Kim, I think the Kitek the Kitek family or the Kitek family. I forget how to pronounce it. Uh, the Broca's family, right? He and his yes. wife, uh, Chung Suk. Um, Ki Wu and uh, Ki Jiang, uh, all of them living in this trash kind of basement ish apartment. I'm not really sure what's going on there because it's yeah, underground, it's, but it's, a, it's, a, right. it's yeah, it's a, what do you call it? That's semi, um, a semi basement, yeah. They, and I say they, they really need uh, they need Marie Kondo to come in their life because that thing is one cramp, packed up mess of a place, um, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, as I say, call Marie Kondo anyway, uh. The basically they they, they they broke broke as hell constantly had to worry about bullshit like like Wi Fi and I mean they really they really sad and yeah. what happens is that oh and uh, well they're, they're just sorry to cut you there um and how, how they make money do is is folding pizza boxes though like, yeah, yeah 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 like real real trash yeah, yeah real, real trash real trash level um you know jobs though that barely yeah. negotiated anyway um. They try to do some stuff in terms of make they make their way in terms of getting a little extra jobs and getting a little higher ends. Uh, but uh, Kiwu, his friend in college, um, gives him a break. He says, "Look, replace me as uh, the English teacher for a wealthy family, um, the mm-hmm. Park family, I think." Yes. Right. And so he gets a job, and then what they they do, um, they they basically kind of run a scam on the family by systematically getting every one of their employees. Fired, <laughs> and then um, getting every one of them to replace them in their jobs to, to get some decent pay. And that is basically how it it builds. That's the beginning. That's yes. the setup. <laughs> yep. Right? Yep. 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 Then um, one of the employees who was fired, in fact, one of the major employees who was fired. She. This is where I'll stop and we'll just talk about it. I don't know if you want to get yeah, spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't, don't don't spoil what right. doesn't need to be spoiled, right? Yeah. Anyway, she comes back in the story. And there's something she wants to get back in the house because she is, she is kind of ousted from the house for, for very 
really brutal and specific reason, which is like real. Daryl pulled out a dirt. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She comes back, and then you get into why she comes back, and then that is where the story really takes a, a weird turn. And yeah. that's the movie. You know, we'll, and then, so, but uh, it, it touches, uh, the main thing I noticed they touch up on is um, they get into the idea of class and, and yes. who broke and who, whoever it is and whatnot. And you really get to see how people just think about each other, who poor and who rich and whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. And yeah, so a lot of egos and, and you know, stuff gets into that. And they, they do a good job with, with establishing that whole paradigm. Um, so that, that's just me, the quick take on it. Right. So what what are your thoughts on, on, on Parasite? I I loved it. Didn't love it as much as I thought I would have. But then again, I kind of went in as blind as I could. So it was fine. But I, I thought it was great. Um, it Again, because it was so... The, the, the theme of class caught me off guard. This, this, is, this, is, this is what Sorry to Bother You was last year for me. Um, just a weird outlandish premise and then it's, yeah, but, it's but, but something it's, incredibly relatable right and it's yeah. but it's it have a, it have a central messaging message very clear of what they're trying to say about it. and then they set up the scenario in such a way to play out um and they get into the art the, the characterization of what this let us lack of a better term alienating society does to us especially the main character right he he uh you know he has a moment inside a um when he was in a, a kind of refugee center. And it was, yeah, it was like a super dark, depressing moment for, for them. Though. It um, was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then it, it, you get into where the story goes and where, where it decides to end off. I actually liked a lot um, for what they did with it. So I was, I was not, um, you know, at, at first I was like, oh, it's just this kind of dumb, jokey thing. And then when it did take that turn with the story, like, oh, shit, this it, it's had a hit home. And then the, the big conceit of the finale like, all right, I see where it's going with it and why it works the way it does and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this one. I, I, it's well acted, very funny, really dark, pitch black at times. Mm-hmm. And then it, it, subs, it comes back on you in terms of like why characters doing what they're doing and how they, how they play out and why they make it. And the little, little details, the detail and world building is, is excellent in this, like really, really good. Little stuff like the boys smelling them, man. <laughs> and, yeah, which, yeah, which caught me completely by surprise. Huh? Yeah, and, and how, how them have to suss out what was going on and, and why things was playing out the way it was. And it was really, really clever um, what it was. Uh, yeah, it's just a great, great character piece. And, you know, it just, again, this, the central theme of what, what they're trying to talk about really, really works because it's, just, it's all of this insanity going on under the scenes now. And it, it nails that paradigm. It nails that premise very, very good. It's, it's great filmmaking on that, that, that standpoint. Um, so, yeah, that's just me on that. I agree with you totally. But um, I, I found myself loving this show way more than I actually expected. Uh, yeah, yeah. At first glance, like, I was getting, well, it's very much similar to, you know, the film, um, the Japanese film that we covered, um, I believe it was earlier this year, Shoplifters, right? This was um, right, this right. was Game yes, Up right. to Win, the Academy Award yeah. for Best right. Foreign Language Film. I uh, mean, yeah. because of the socio-economic themes, you know, prevent, present in it now. Um, you know, and, and it's, you know, simply put, it's just about how the poor perceive the rich now and vice versa. Yeah. And, yeah, I found myself, like, totally related to the Kim family, you know what I mean? That, yeah. you know, the kind of, like... Oh gosh, but y'all really have it that bad though moments, especially in the, in the beginning. But still, it's just like, yeah, boy, I could, I, I, I could really, like, I could, I could, I could, I'd see what they're going through. I'd see what they're going through. Um, and at first, like, when, well, basically, how they integrate themselves, as I'll see, you know what I mean, into the, the park family, you're thinking, this is some kind of mean spirited kind of stuff though. It's like no one that really yeah, is just yeah, like it's so, it, it like, kind of plays off. It kind of plays off like it though. But it's like no one that really is just simply put. We just want to live that life though. Yeah, but at times it's like way boy, all the men real dread though. It's like some real oh, bustro thing, eh? Yeah, some yeah, yeah. And so people. intricate, eh? like how they how they plan it out. Like okay, this is how we're yeah. gonna get this guy fired. This is how we're gonna get this girl fired. Yeah. And all these like layers and stuff like that. No, you catch me off guard. Cut first you take it. All right, okay. So clearly the Kims think that the park's like so naive that they could get away with this. But still, it's like, hey, 
it work with one person. So let me see how this works. Though, you know what I mean? I love how um it it always keeps you on the edge of your toes. I just keep thinking, okay, one of the one of the pack members could go spot what going on, and you, you're thinking, oh, it's gonna be the daughter, or it might right. be the mother, father, and then you realize, or then you see the boy pick up on one thing. It's like, oh, okay, <laughs> and it's just that. That cat and mouse kind of thing that that you know yeah, got yeah, yeah. the first the first act now. Um, second act though, well, don't want to spoil too much. Is where they they fully integrated into the family, and then something happens. As you see, you know, um, uh, employee that was fired comes back, and that is when things just sort of get dark. You know, I mean, well, it was dark already, but it got darker here, and it just got more hilarious for me. Just the moments, you know, it it, it was it was kind of. I don't want to say slapstick, but it felt like, you know, one of those, like, Marx Brothers kind of films, you know what I mean? Characters yeah. kind of duck in and out, that kind of vibe, you know what I mean? Um, another show I was thinking about, too, early enough, was uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Right, right, yeah, Which right. also bit, involves yeah. a, a guy getting, um, kind of working his way into someone else's family to stay close to someone, right? That's all you say. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, but, you know, the moments where he changing from, you know, his outfits and all that kind of stuff, you know, really kind of ducking out and, you know, those, those, Comical moments, right? But how they played off in this movie was just so dark and just ironic as, as well. You could see the yeah. irony in it all. And yeah. Louis, it just had me in the edge of my seat, like, oh my god, I I just know somebody gonna slip up, somebody gonna drop the ball somewhere. And sometimes you think, okay, it, it will be this guy, though, know, but it don't play out the way you expect it, or it might happen at yeah. the time that you expect it to be. It'll just be like, oh shit, something else happened, and then you wait, and then right. oh, you drop the ball then, you know what I mean? So I love that, but it's really. The third act, though, but is he set up for it that that really caught me by surprise to her? All I will yeah. say, it, it it just has to deal with um, a certain weather pattern. That's all you see. Because at first you think it, oh well, this is the reason why the family comes back, and this is why the other family hiding. But then when you see the consequences of that, it's like, oh, now it don't know exactly why it is they doing what they are doing, and you feel sorry for them, and you know? you really sorry, you, you feel sorry for what it is they go through because of how um. You know, just how, how poor they are, you know what I mean, basically. So you understand now why they will do whatever they can to just 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 have that slice of, of, of you know, being rich in it. I mean, you, you get that. It's not just, you know, it's not, it's not really so much envy. It's just like, oh gosh, man, so we're just going to be suffering all our life. Well, why we can't have that old pizza that fine, you know what I mean? So you relate right. to them even more. They, they, so, you know what I mean? They may come off a little mean spirit, a little bit more, you know, um, uh, not mischievous, deceitful. You know what I mean? But it it comes. But there's a there's a heart. There's there's a there's an emotional weight to it, basically. And that's that's what drew me into these characters, right? Um, and then, well, not to say how it ends, but it kind of has a a, bl- uh, a bloody climax, which is what I expected to. But there's really like the last few minutes, which I would admit, if it's just if I had like one tiny little gripe, you know, they do a lot of exposition. You know what I mean? A lot of narration to tell you what's going on. But you right. need that. You had to kind of explain what's going on too. And I, I remember shoplifters did that same thing in the third act too. Yeah. But yeah. you kind of have to explain things because, you know, it's like, well, months later, right? So you understand that. But it's just those moments and how the family um, is affected by it. You know what I mean? Well, the families, yeah, yeah. I would say. The two families affected by it. That's yeah. when it hit me the most. And I was just in amazement of how the, the film just kind of started off kind of normal, kind of weird and quirky, then went you know, witty and clever, more like a like a heist film, you know what I mean? Where you expect any the wittiness there, you know what I mean? Expecting, oh, this is how we get this. Okay, cool. Then you get the dark comedy, you really pitch black comedy. And then yeah. yeah, well, the tragic and sad moments and just like this is how it ends. Uh, sorry, this yeah. is what yeah. it's gonna be. So long story short, I love this movie. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Yeah. I I'll, I'll, I'll go as far as seeing this this could this could be top five for me like top three you know what I mean I really did not I, expect to love this show as much as I did um technical aspects let me get this all the way beautifully shot from start to end opening shot to yeah. closing shot strong direction from from Bong Joon Ho the man yeah. really goes out of his way to show why he is one of the best um filmmakers in South Korea by just the attention to detail and you know what I mean it's not a show that kind of is is that one of those shows where you had a kind of where it kind of screams, oh, pay attention to me and pay attention to these great shots? You know what I mean? It's kind of subtle. Is there any background, especially like the interior shots of like the park home and whatnot? 
but you could see the attention to detail there. You could see the excellent cinematography there, you know what I mean? Um, and just the blocking, the way how characters move and where, you know, the camera is. Totally love that. Um, the, the performances were solid throughout, throughout. Um, nobody half-assed it. Everybody came through, do what they're supposed to do, even the, 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 the kid that we mentioned, you know what I mean? Everybody came and do their thing. The music was was witty, you know what I mean? Um, it, it fit the tone of it. So when it was like witty, you got the music there. When it was dark, you got the music there. When it was tragic, you got the music there. So it fit well. Um, another thing I want to mention too, that uh, I was getting a sort of Hitchcockian vibe from it. And it's funny too yeah. because there's a scene where yeah, there's a, like a bookshelf. And one of, I believe it's, a, it's books, right? But um, I'm not sure who the other people were in that lineup but one of the books you saw a picture of well alfred hitchcock i was like yeah right. wait, this is like right up his alley um his alley now. that sort of like dark humor kind of thing and just how he played it out but it's really the socio-economic team that really hooked men you know what i mean um it's not just about one family trying to deceive another family there's deeper than that and you know because they go in deep with it you, you understand yeah this is this is why i had to do if it's just my way of living that life, my way of, you know, having food in my stomach, you know what I mean, having money in my pocket, this is what I'm going to do. But there yeah. are consequences here. So I love that the film, um, and the way how the, the film takes these characters and really put them out there, you know what I mean, really have them do what they do. It kind of make you wonder at the end of it all, was it really worth it, you know what I mean? So that's one of the many questions that this movie leaves here. And this last thing I want to say, um, this is not like a heavy, heavy film where, you know, a lot of complex and stuff, you know, complex stuff that you don't understand. It's straightforward. Like I say, I relate to it, you know what I mean? Um, even if you are the, on the other end of the spectrum, if you, if you eat the bougie end of the spectrum, I don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean? You will relate to this thing somehow, but it's just right. the dynamic between the two families and what they will go through to, you know, and just what's going on and need to, um, because one thing though, like I also uh, I picked up as well, is the dynamic between the the park, um, the parents of the park. Well, the park parents basically, the husband and wife. Like there's something going on with them, and the movie doesn't really like stop to explore it. But you could tell that there's some kind of, or at least the way how they end up together is there's something off with it. You know what I mean? There's always something off with the characters, with the the way how they interact with each other. Even the Kim parents themselves, there's something off with them too. You know what I mean? But yeah, the twist yeah. to that, you know, that's, I, um, that's the thing. I, I really thought that it would have gotten into that a little more. Um, of what yeah, the father, I, father. I, I agree. Yeah. They, they, they could have delved a little I thought, they would have, because I, thought they, I thought they would have done like, okay, well, the next movie we're going to talk about does that almost very blatantly, where it right. talks about, you know, it's a cl- again, it's another class consciousness story, uh, in a sense, but it, it does get into that. And I really thought they would have gotten into that aspect of. On fair society is or whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. Um, right, right, right. Yeah. Um. I mean, but the but overall though, I I really was surprised at how entertaining this movie was. But it was an absolute blast from start to end. Though it wasn't like, you know, one of those high fluted shows that just touching on this topic so much that you just had to come in, you know, in a moody kind of way. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had to feel depressed because the character's going through hell and whatnot. No. You know what I mean? You're having fun with the characters. You're laughing with them. You're, you're, you're biting the deals. You want to see what happens next. Like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? It always <laughs> keeps you on edge. And then when the very end, it's just like, yeah, boy, I I, I really feel sorry for you. I really felt sorry for them. But because of how well told the story was, I just felt like, yeah, it kind of had to play out like that. Even the climax as well, too, as chaotic as it was, played out the way it was supposed to, in my opinion. So, I mean, not much more I could say about this thing. I absolutely love this. This could very well make it to my... Well, yeah, I would say right now this is top five of 2019 for me. Who knows? It could even make it as number one. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say by now, but believe the hype for this one. This is one of the year's best movies. This is one of the best movies of the decade. This is a reminder that um, that that Bong Joon-ho is one of the best directors living right now. You know what I mean? I'm not seeing this because of the, you know, just, I'm just seeing this too because of just what he brought to the table here. You know what I mean? It's not just, yeah. um, you know, with storytelling, with writing, everything, it just works, right? So for me, this gets a strong four and a half out of five, man. This is the absolute, yeah. absolute must see. This is a high recommendation for me. Um, and as I say before, yeah, this have a huge, huge, huge chance of making it as, you know, um, but best, like, well, I, I would say top three of the year. It is that 
that good. I did not expect the show to be to be that great. Um, so yeah, go in expectations high if you need to, and believe me, you will have a blast with this one. So yeah, not much more I could say. I strongly, strongly recommend you check out Parasite. So yes, what's your I... what's your what's your rating for this? And yeah, I give this one like a, a, like a eight point five out of ten. Um, very very high score for me. I uh, it it just executes everything on on almost really really well done on almost every level. Um, you know, it's up there, really, really high for me. But I, I had some issues coming down to the ending. I thought they could probably explore these ideas a little better. But again, just a matter of world building more than anything. Um, so you don't have to, you know, go on a soapbox and explain everything to dumb people like me. Um, <laughs> so that's about that. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. It's just, just really, really brilliant, solid film. So making, you understand why it, it get the hype it did. Um, yeah, I, I, I love this as well. Yeah, and last thing I'll say though, like after I saw it, I instantly wanted to see it again. I just feel that if I watch it, there'll be like something that I did not see. Like I saw as much as I could and I enjoyed it, but I feel like if I watch it like again and again, I'll just pick up on something else. You know what I mean? So yeah, I totally loved it. Definitely check it out. <laughs>